All right, time for another video. I got a box of nickels to go through. So let's crack into these and see what we got. Let's see. Yeah, that one looks circulated, so I got circulated nickels. Let me dig into these and I'll bring you back when I uh, when I find something. All right, I'm on the second roll. I've got a Denver mark facing me. So this one's 1964 or older. So let's see if it's hopefully older than 64. Hey, hey, it's a 1959. It's the first find. So awesome. Okay, I'm on roll number seven. And working my way through, I've got this uh, lovely 1946 here looking at me. Um, I know it's kind of dirt, but I do like the um, antique look of this. That's uh, how the um, coin is when they're like this. It is a 1946 out of Philadelphia. That's the second find. All right. Okay, I'm on roll number eight, and I've got one here. It's really nice condition on the back, really shiny. I don't see any steps on the building of the Monticello there. Um, looks like it could be an older coin from the look, but I'm not sure. Figured I'd flip it over on camera and see what we got here. So let's see. And it is, oh, hey, look. At, oh, wow. That's a 1956. Look at this beautiful 1956. Wow, that is a stunning coin. It's got a nice little tone to it as well. It's kind of why I thought it was an older one. Wow, that is beautiful. I don't see hardly any marks on it. And doesn't have any steps but wow that is a 1956 out of philadelphia man look at that that is gorgeous i'm gonna put that up here and keep it nice right i'm on uh, roll number nine and i was pulled off the top coin and this 1940 flopped over look at that 1940 out of 1940 out of San Francisco. It looks like a 1940 out of... Let me, let me take a look at that. Oh, it is. That is a 1940 from San Francisco. How about that? That's awesome. That's our fourth find of the box. All right. Roll number 10. And I pulled the 64 out. Looks mostly decent shape but on the back here the um, mint mark I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it on camera but it looks like it might be slightly doubled to the west so the um I'll pop up a, a picture from the scope when I put it on a scope it looks like it has um double lines for the uh, uh, straight line on, on the D there um, I believe that was, uh, RPM number seven out on VR, Variety Vista, but that's, that's a cool find. Um, but uh, I'll pop up a picture. I'm going to set this one to a side and take a better look at it here in a little bit. I have a, another Denver mark facing me and it looks like it's older nickel. Let me get it in the camera. Uh, let's see if it's pre sixties. And it's a 59, it's another 59. That's awesome. All right, and I'm still on the same roll, roll number 12. Um, I've got another Denver Mint Mark facing me. Zoom in a little bit. And let's see which one it is. Hey, it's a 1958. Awesome, that's two finds in one roll. That's awesome. Let's all right, so I'm going through and I see, not this one, not this one, but this one looks like it's a little bit older. 
Hello, and it's got a reverse mint mark. So let's see, is it a pre-60s? Hey, it's another 59. It's our third 59 from Denver. Or I think they're all from Denver. Awesome. All right, I'm on roll number 17. Got another Denver mint mark here facing me. So let's pick it up and see what it is. Hey, it's a 56. That's a 1956. Awesome. And I had them on roll number 14. And I had to unwrap this one to see it. But I have a 1948 on the end. So I've got a 1948 ender on this roll. Let's pull it out and try to flatten it out here. Yep. Look at this. 1948. That is a fine. This one's out of Philadelphia. That's another fine there. Okay. I'm on roll number 15, and I think we've done it. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I think we've located an elusive nickel here. Second one from the back is a buffalo. It's a pretty nice shape on the back. Um, I don't see a mint mark. There might be one there. If it is, it's very light. Let's see. It's a 1935. Look at that date. That is pretty nice. There's a large scratch across the front, but that is a pretty nice nickel to find in a... Uh, and to roll there. So I looked under the scope and through, and there is a little something there. Um, it looks like it could have been an S, but there's a little damage where it is. Um, so this might be a 1935 S. That's awesome. Oldest nickel we found so far. First buffalo. Hopefully there's more buffaloes so we get a whole herd of them. That would be awesome. Hopefully, let's see what else we see. All right, roll 34, and I pulled one away, and I've got a 1966 Helvetica. Look at this. It's a 20 Helvetica from, I believe, Confederation Helvetica. I believe that, um, oh, geez. It's a bit, uh, anyways, it's foreign. It, uh, the country eludes me at this moment. Um, I will re probably remember it as soon as I get done recording this. <laughs> um, Denmark, Sweden, Denmark. Well, it's, it's somewhere, I think it's Sweden. Might be Denmark. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But that's a cool little find. Don't usually see those in the nickel boxes. Okay, I'm on roll 36, and I see there's a 1947 sticking out back here. 1947. How about that? That one is from Philadelphia. All right, I'm on roll 44, and I come across this 1941. 1941. Out of Philly. Uh, that's awesome. That's uh, another find for the row. I'm random on roll number 47, and I got a 1958. 1958 out of Denver. Hey, that's another find. That is excellent to go there with the 58s. Okay, I just moved four coins, and let's zoom in here. Look at this. This has been circulating and it's pretty beat up. But that is a 1988 from San Francisco. This is a proof. Look at how reflective it is, even with the uh, scratches. That's nice. That's an awesome little find. It was in better shape. Uh, but yeah, it's a proof. Proof, proof, proof. All right, roll 49. I've got a 1941 sitting here, and this one is from 
Philly. It's a 41. That's awesome. All right, to wrap up, I've got um, six from the 40s, six from the 50s, well, seven, because I got this very nice 1956. I put in a flip here, um, just because it was so nice. Yep, and that is nice. Yep, yep, okay. Then I got the Vodka. This is from Switzerland. I looked it up. Switzerland, 1966. Got uh, this awesome 1935 Buffalo. It's possibly got an estimate mark that might have been damaged right there. Um, but it is a 1935 and it is in decent shape. Not too bad. Still got the date, and that's awesome. And then I found this awesome 1988 proof nickel. You can see how just how reflective shiny it is. Yep. So that is awesome. Um, All right, here's the first uh, 1964 out of Denver I wanted to look at. Um, it's got something going on here. It looks better out of the loop. Um, here's RPM number four off of uh, Variety Vista. Um, it does look kind of similar under the loop. I can't, I wasn't able to get a much a better picture than this with uh, my uh, microscope. Um, something's going on. There is some doubling around it um, from uh, looking through it and in the loop. Um, so I'm not sure if this one's RPM number four. Uh, but it definitely looks like something's going on, going on here. All right, next, this is uh, the next 1964D. Um, this is RPM number seven. Um, there's a little bit to the left here. It's kind of hard to see because of the shadow. Um, but if you look at this one, especially under a loop, there's looks like there is some solid doubling over here to the uh, left side of the D. Um, to the west side and it looks like there's a little something in here too so i'm fairly certain this is the rpm number seven but i'm not so sure um this is the best i could get with my microscope but under the loop you can see it pretty clear as day so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please help me out by liking subscribing sharing doing all that stuff um please leave a comment down below let me know if these uh 64 d's are let me know if these are uh, RPMs or I'm just seeing things. Um, let me know if the comparisons compare or not. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day.